Hi, this is the video review of my Tokyo Marui P226 Sig Sawyer pistol. Uh, now, I got the chrome version. Um, when you open up the box, this is what it'll look like. You get your Sig emblem here, you get your mag, some Marui high grade BBs, and you got your gun. Now, in the package, it'll come with just like everything's in Japanese or some sort of language like that so it's kinda hard to make out but it comes with a catalog uh, a parts list the manual whatever this is some targets a warning issue label thing which is also all in Japanese um... Okay. now gun is actually very nice. I don't usually like Marui guns, but they have very nice uh, gas blowback pistols, which this is gas blowback. So, makes a very nice sound. I'll do the shooting test later. I'm just going to point out a few things right here. Now, when you get the gun, once it's cocked, there is a little knob right here that will uncock the gun. So, once it's been cocked, you can just pull that knob and it will uncock the gun for you. Uh, also, when you cock it back, this is the slide catch right here. Pull that up and the slide will stay down. And you just pull it down. Take the gun apart, you just pull this out. Well, actually, I don't know if you can see that. Pull this down, we'll push that out, and you can take the whole gun apart. Um, I'm not going to do that, because I can never get it back together. Alright. Now, if you notice, when you cock the gun, it just doesn't, the uh, slide doesn't get caught by the slide catch. But if you have an empty magazine already in your gun, like now, it's going to, uh, the slide catch will go off now. Excuse me for a minute, this may take a moment, but if you put a BB in it, it will cock without getting caught, which I think is pretty cool because most gas blowbacks don't do that unless you have gas in the gun. Notice I've just put the BB in, and you can cock the gun. Alright, and that's uh, pretty much it. Now, this gun, most of Maru's guns are made out of plastic. Uh, I thought, somebody told me this gun was made out of plastic, but last night I did the magnet test, and the magnet stuck to it, which means it's metal. Uh, I don't know if that's the metal internals underneath the, what I, what was supposed to, what I thought was going to be plastic, or if this actually is stainless, like it says on the gun. Um, now I'm actually going to show you the trademarks on this gun, which are very unique because uh, Marui guns have a very light trademark law. They are not allowed to put trademarks on their gun in America. So usually when you get the guns, there'll be like a blob of plastic or something over the trademarks. Uh, mine came with that, but I've actually peeled them off. And the trademarks are fine. Also, another feature about this gun is usually they come with like an orange tip on them in this country, but... Uh, I bought this from a dealer, so it, you know, came just the orange tip right here. So I'm going to do a video of the trademarks now, and then I'm going to do the firing test. Double stack magazine up with 25 BBs. Uh, as I forgot to mention before, it is double stack, holds 25 BBs. Uh, 25 in the mag, one in the barrel. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention was the feet per second, it's about 275 with point twos. So I'll show you that. Put the green gas in, you want to stick in this little nozzle here. I 
I've never opened this gun in, so it doesn't always fill up all the way. Just put it in the gun. Start firing. Oops. Alright, didn't put enough gas in. Okay, sorry about that. The problem actually was. Get a green gas, get the ones out. So, here we go again. If you notice how far range this gun gets. Alright, this gun needs more gas. Alright, now the gun is out of ammo, just to show you what the gun does when you're out. And that means it's out of gas. So, uh, thanks for watching my review.